Hello everyone. Welcome back to Talk 4712 and today let us talk about something which I haven't talked about much in the past but I believe that I should have. I believe that this is the most important part of having any academic course or degree. When we study about something which is scientific or technical, it is very important for us to understand the concepts well. And this is something that I've never talked about, but this was always my idea throughout my course of engineering. and the 4 to 5 years after that during my time in isro or during my time in bark the simple idea is that whenever you learn something you should learn that in a way that you always retain it now i'm not talking about memory i'm not talking about memorizing something which you remember for a long time i'm talking about understanding the concepts in such a way that it comes natural to you now don't get me wrong what i'm talking about is applicable for competitive examination aspirants as well because after you crack all the written tests you will be tested in the interviews and this is what made me more certain about this concept when i went into barc interview or isro interview or iit bombay interview they do test it properly especially if you are interested for a technical or research based job profile or higher studies so exams are only going to help you to get a job or get into a program but ultimately your whole career is dependent upon what you learn during your undergraduate course or during your preparation do you really understand things can you apply it practically that's what it is dependent on step by step i'm going to break it down what do i mean by crystal clear concept the triple c and how to develop it so let's get into it it's not that complicated it's pretty simple it's just that most people are in a hurry and thus they do not want to pay that little amount of time that will help them for the rest of their life so how to build a very good amount of concept i'm also going to talk about the limitation of it because this does take time and especially if you are in a time bound course or you are preparing for a competitive examination and you know that you have to appear in that examination after 6 months you can't really go blindly throughout full fledged so i'm going to talk about the limitations and what is the boundary till which you should go because there's a fine balance you can go crazy very fast if you just keep on getting into more and more concept because science like we all know that it is infinite just like the universe so you can't keep on getting deeper and deeper sometimes wideness is also important but we are going to talk about the boundary or what is the fine balance so when you study anything there are two ways to understand things in a way that you are not going to forget or in a way that if a similar situation is observed by you you will be able to apply the pre learned knowledge number 1 you will have to understand things application oriented manner so if you are studying anything let us say scattering of light how is it applied if you are studying gears how is it applied in the real life if you're studying welding find out the components around you where things are welded anything that you're studying is around you the entire engineering is based on practicality itself whatever you produce is around you and you have to find those things you can find deflection of beam in the beams in the room that you're sitting in as well so anything that you study is around you you'll have to find out if you study anything and your teachers tell you that just go through it this is the question that is going to come in examination you are not supposed to accept it 99 out of 100 will accept it but you are not supposed to if you want that triple c you have to ask the questions maybe your teachers don't know as well because we all know the problem that com- the whole education system is in right now but you have to change it for yourself and for that you'll have to ask questions and that's the second one you'll have to ask a lot of questions every why has another why every how has a what you have to ask those questions from yourself why is it used and why is it not used that way why is this material used in this and not that material why is carbon fiber not used instead of steel or why is aluminum used over here or depends on the stream of engineering you are having or the branch of science you are studying but you have to ask a lot of questions why why not how where what when find out these answers you have to look for it and these are most likely not going to be found in your textbooks but we are in the internet age and every question has an answer in the internet so you are having that freedom utilize it 
every time your friends will not have the answers every time your teachers will not have the answers but you have to find out dig in so keep on asking questions and this is how you develop interest as well some people say that i just can't find interest in studying or i'm getting bored in studying well if that is happening there's something wrong going on either you're doing something wrong or your teachers are doing something wrong but science and engineering is not supposed to be boring at any point because it is all around you everything is applicable that is why when you are trying to practically do something let us say a project you understand more about that particular principle because you have to find the solution you have to ask the questions and you have to give the answers you have to bring the results so how are you going to do it you'll have to understand everything about that so this is how it is supposed to be done it does not involve as less time as you want it to but also it does not involve as much time as you would expect it to some people are too terrified of getting into deep concepts but it does not really take as much time but in total if you look at it if you studied something in a rush and you just covered the syllabus for an examination let us say you involved two days and you forgot in seven days then that two days invested are also kind of a waste don't you think so obviously i understand this video is not for everyone but if you're one of those who wants to learn something in a manner that you are going to apply it for the rest of your life if you want to learn something that you are really interested in then this is the way to do it. Number one, understand the practicality. And number two, ask those questions. Ask those whys, whats, hows, and don't stop until unless you get the answers. Then you get more whys and hows. And this is the point that I was talking about. There's a boundary because you are having limitation of time and the information or knowledge is infinite. So let's talk about that. Always remember, this is the concept that I used to follow when I was preparing for examinations, that you ask questions downwards not upwards so when you ask questions of let us say something related to heat transfer you ask questions what is conduction then you ask questions like what is electron transfer then you ask questions what is electron you do not ask questions like what is the fourth mode of heat transfer that is out of your syllabus got the point you do not ask questions like okay it makes sense what we are studying right now is steady state heat transfer what about transient state heat transfer what's that you do not ask questions out of the syllabus. Ask basic questions because basics are important for these top level interviews. So you go downwards, down as like eight standard, nine standard physics, chemistry and mathematics and not above like master's level fluid mechanics or uh, non-Newtonian fluids and all those things. So you have to ask questions downwards, not upwards. Limited to the syllabus, ask questions, ask basic questions, and you'll find in a better manner that things are actually very simple, not that complicated, not as complicated as you thought. And when you understand that things are simple, then you find more interest towards it. You always want to do things that you're good at, right? When you find studies and science and engineering to be simple, you'll find yourself doing it more and more. And this is how I got addicted to engineering. I did not like books, man. But when I found the practicality of engineering all around me, and when I found out that it's actually simple, or at least I can break it down to simple things, I wanted to study more and more. This is the simple thumb rule that I've used for the past 10 years now. And whatever I learned till 2018, I retain all of it without turning any pages of my notes for the past three years. I've taken classes, and if you look at my technical podcast like spacecast explain a lot of things from basic mechanical engineering to explain rocket science now speaking of spacecast spacecast might be very interesting to you especially because you have stick till the end of this video where we have talked about the triple c concept spacecast is a podcast on space science and technology where i talk about a lot of scientific technical stuff over there in a very interesting manner we have had 11 episodes so far it comes out every week i'm sure that you're going to love it just give it a try that's about it guys i'm going to leave all the important links down in the description box and uh, maybe i'm going to see you on spacecast but either way Use the triple C concept, at least apply it once and see the fun that it brings. See you next time. Till then, bye.